Today we're replacing the battery on an NES cartridge, so let's get started. We're going to need a battery, 3.8 millimeter game bit screwdriver, some desoldering braid or whatever means you like to desolder, uh, solder, solder and iron, solder, and some flux. All right, so first let's unscrew the game bit screws holding the NES cartridge in, and then gently lift up and tilt towards us. That gives us access to the board. Take the board out. And then you can see the battery right there that we're going to replace. All right, what I like to do is I like to just put a little bit of flux on each uh, leg of the battery holder. And then we'll just apply a little fresh solder. All right, now that we have the fresh solder on, we'll add just a little bit more flux to help the wick. And let's turn on our fume extractor again. Okay, now that we have the solder mostly removed, we can get a pair of tweezers or needle nose pliers and just kind of bend the tabs up. And we can start wiggling the battery out. If it'll wiggle out, right? This side looks like it'll come out. So we'll just try and remove a little bit more solder. This side needs a little bit more. All right, now that we've got the old battery removed, I'm just gonna quickly just kind of give it a quick little clean with a Q-tip and some 99% isopropyl alcohol. Now we just wanna make note of the old battery, uh, the top part is positive and that was the larger pin and we know that that goes into that hole so with our new battery just want to orient it the same way top part is positive bottom is negative and then we just want to place it in and bend the legs to fit and then we just want to hold it tight to the board as we can and then just pin or just pin, just bend these pins down so it holds in place okay so now we'll just want to apply some flux and turn on our fume extractor and solder in the new battery Okay, we're just going to clean it up now. It's on alcohol. All right, let's look at our solder joints. That looks good.
Right, now that everything is cleaned and the batteries replaced, we're just going to put the Nintendo game back together. If you're never, if you're ever uh, unsure if the game you're playing has a battery in it, typically it'll have this gold warning label on the back that says this game pack contains a battery. Or, you know, if your game allows you to save your progress, it has a battery. All right, well, there you have it. So nice, easy battery replacement. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you on the next one.